welcome to Gali. Your favorite yeah. girls are back in the building. Ooh-hoo. Yes, baby Sasa is right here with me in the studio. Uh, Melody Tara is not here. She's a bit under the weather. Right. So if you can show her some love, um, just do that on Instagram and Please on Twitter. Do. Um at underscore T T A R R A. Yeah. I got that underscore Tara. Yeah. yeah. Underscore Tara. Okay. So go show her some love, all right? So baby, how are you feeling? I feel okay. I feel good. I mean, considering the work that was done over the weekend, the voting, reporting, mm-hmm. going to vote as well. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Still monitoring the election um, the election coalition the center in Abuja and all of that, you know. <sighs> I wouldn't even say it's a mixed reaction because it's it's a lot of you know a lot of people complain about how they've been they will, they have been disenfranchised and how unprepared IDEC has been in this you know in this period that is so pivotal to Nigerians and you know you had four years to plan for this and then it's it's just it's it's been marred with so many errors that could have been avoided obviously mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know a lot of people have complained about the ineptitude of INEC and the like a desical approach to even addressing the issue a public statement was you know uh, put out but it did not even address the concerns that people are talking about mm-hmm. so yeah it's not uh, <laughs> it's not far fetched when it, you, you hear people uh, you know aggravated and just aggrieved mm-hmm. yeah Anyways, but how do you, well, like, you've, you've already said everything that, that you need to say about the general election. I need to ask you again. You have My said sister. plenty. Shout out to you for that. But I totally agree with you. Um, lots of people have, I don't want to say they've lost, they've lost um, hope. hope and believe in the system. Melody, so mm. on the show today, yeah. topical issues earlier today, mm-hmm. we just had to focus on the elections, obviously. Course, That's definitely. what everybody is talking about right now. And, you know, people called in and you could hear the pain hmm. in their voice. You could hear disappointments. Disappointments. So people traveled down to Nigeria. Yes, found. they did. Yes, they did. And to think that they could not even vote. Hmm. So resources have been expended, and it's down the drain now. That is hmm. the conversation. And then <laughs> it's a lot. People are saying, you know what? I'm not even encouraged to vote again. And yeah. we still have, you know, the governorship elections in March. We're not done. People are not anticipating that at all. They are not excited. They are not motivated. They are not encouraged. They're like, you know what? If I go, and then we had so many first-time voters, a lot. Yeah, they because they believed in the power of their voters' card. Like this would elect me the leader I want. I vote for you. Out of everything but else. But if it's been Out marred of, yeah. by so much, you know, irregularities yeah. and abnormalities and yeah. Is he really independent at the end of the day? Mm. At the end of the day. Now that we're in, you know, um, election season and people are having conversations around, um, you know, elections about, you know, people in power, people in position. And, um, you know, that conversation is ongoing mm. on social media. Mm. Now, people are also having conversations around, you know, female politicians, representation when it comes right. to women. Right. And, you know, women taking on more spaces in the political world and in the political space mm. and how women are not very represented in our country when it comes to <laughs> politics and a lot of you know seats yep. and positions and of course the um one news that people have been talking about on social media is the um the the fct senatorial seats mm-hmm. the one that iriti kinigbe contested for yeah. and uh, and how it was you know previously occupied by senator philip aduda yeah yeah and how Una she's won and people are really rejoicing and saying, yeah, people are yeah. very excited. Breath of fresh air. And breath of fresh air, like, oh, my God, a woman won that position, or, you know, took that seat, and like, oh, my God. I just, you know, people are just having a conversation that we need to have more women, mm. you know, occupy these positions. And mm. people are saying, ah, you know, no, do we really need more women? Of course, we're, we're now in the conversation we of revolution, do. breath of fresh air. And like, uh, so people are like, oh, so is, should we just take what we have? Or do you think we should climb up for more, more women to get into position? Mm. Also because some people have the opinion that, ah, you know, women are so emotional. When they get into position, that's can a, they handle can you change it? the story? <laughs> because that that's that has always been since the days the, of old. The, the, the narrative, debate, the narrative, the excuse. Women are on their period. P- women <sighs> are going to breastfeed. Women are going to get pregnant. What Men happens when they are when they are when they are breastfeeding? What happens to when they are pregnant and they have you know their hormones is upside down? Like. Yo. And you know, there we are hormones all over the place. Yeah. Like like we like women 
Like men don't have bad days, sir. But anyways, it's not about that. It's not about vibes as an eye. We're having the conversation because people are having the conversation on social media about mm. women occupying more positions. And if we think this is the time to call for that, this is the time to clamor for that. And if it is not the time to do that, and also, do you believe or do you agree with that, you know, line of thought that women are too emotional to occupy certain political positions? Take, for example, maybe the governor of a state, you know, the president of a state. Do you think that women are should be able to occupy so, such positions? I'm sure even be having that conversation in Nigeria or around the world right now in 2023. Or you still believe that, eh, I don't think we're, like, some people say, oh, we're not ready for that. We're not ready for a mm. female president. We're not ready for a female governor in Nigeria. Yeah. We're not ready for this. We're not ready for that. You know, they can just keep being the deputy. <laughs> but what do you That's think? They get there. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think women, the world, Nigeria, we're ready for a female president? Do you think we're ready for a female governor? Do you think women should occupy more positions? Let us know. You can call us up on 0700-1051-1051. Or you can leave a message on WhatsApp, um, 909-916-4403. Let's not forget that we've had like really fantastic women yes, occupy different have. positions in Nigeria. Yes, we have. It feels like people forget to mention that. And yeah. it's like, w- wow, we've, we've had like very solid women S- occupy different word, positions. Solid. Very solid. Making policies that have changed the narrative mm-hmm. of the economy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and boosted, you know, the economy me shedding you know a positive light to nigeria africa mm-hmm. at large and I, I, I feel you know because of how overwhelming the weight of the whole issue is yeah. they had to reluctantly is it reluctantly now or they had to just you know step down because so take for instance okonjo Iwela. Okonjo Iwela was you know um was uh at a, at, at a point minister of finance and you know she had to you know what, I can't do this again because some of the policies she introduced was not really accepted mm. in Nigeria at the time. And mm. see what she has done with, you know, um, at, at, at a global level. Yeah. Like, see the policies she has made, see how she has contributed immensely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's 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 really crazy. And, mm-hmm. you know, a, a, a lot of people have also said that women are also being frustrated yeah. out of office. Yeah. So, take for instance, this election, what mm-hmm. happened in Kogi State? Mm-hmm. About you, I don't know if you heard about the governor of Kogi excavating some roads. Yes, of yeah. course. If a woman did that, it will all be emotion. Now, woman, now somebody don't vex her for her. Yeah, all and this. almost seventy-two hours before elections, and you're wondering, Who does that? is it not going to prevent people from accessing? You know, they are pulling units and all of that, and the reason was to prevent terrorists or hoodlums or known gunmen from taking over and you're wondering was this really thought through mm. and one of the mm-hmm. roads that was ex- uh, excavated was uh, you know f- um, belonging to one woman that is also running for running a for, seat yeah, for a I seat. can't remember her name yeah. now and you're wondering people are really women are really want to go into politics but if you keep frustrating them with moves like this yeah. would they be encouraged hmm hmm you know? that's, a, that's a very valid conversation because it's not enough to say, "Oh, we want more women." Are you encouraging these women? Are you creating up? Are you creating a space where they feel safe enough to even participate safe. in politics, or do they know that when they get it, they're going to be witch hunted? Let us know on WhatsApp zero nine zero nine nine one six four four zero three. Do you think that the world, Nigeria, as a country, are ready for a female president, a female governor? Do you think we need more women, um, you know, occupying political positions? When we talk about women who have done ex- exceedingly well in the mm. political space in Nigeria, we can never forget the ex the ex DG of NAFTA, um, yes, Labour okay, um, Minister Dora, yeah, Kinley. Dora Kinley. Yeah, My yeah, goodness, fantastic, fantastic. You know, man. because of her, I was like, I'm going to go into politics mm-hmm. because, um, and she wasn't even in politics per se, it was because of how, you know, distinguished Popular, she yes, was. Women who have just served as director in that space. of, yeah, yeah, of NAFDAQ, yeah. that she was now into politics, politics because they yes. wanted to also you know pick her brains on different, sh- yeah. on different political levels and, yeah. and you know she encouraged and inspired so many women yes yeah, she did and you know fought through the male dominance in the industry quote and unquote yeah. and you know it was was it not when she entered the politics now <laughs> that you know all of that <laughs> happened yeah, yeah, and you know yeah <sighs> okay so let us know what do you think um is the world is nigeria ready for a female president mm-hmm. that's or the question also, <laughs> that's the question right is nigeria <laughs> ready do you think this is the time do you think we're ready for mm-hmm. that to have a woman lead us on that level and um, be it as a president be it as a governor it's whatsapp is 909 if you want to call us up it's 0700 1051 1051 hi 
Hi, good evening. What's your name? Okay, my name is Annie. Your name is what? Annie. Annie. A- Annie. Okay. Hi, Annie. Good evening. Yeah, Annie. Annie. Good evening. Annie. Hi, good evening. Hi, hello, Annie. I'm fine. So, what do you think about the conversation, the world and Nigeria being ready for a female president? Okay. okay. So, the, I, I have this to say. Yeah. Mm. Um. Uh. I'm one person that actually um, would actually encourage for women involvement in politics in stuff that are men related. Um. But there's one thing I also want you to realize too, mm. that when we push for women involvement, you should also know that um, these things, these problems that women face are almost the same as what the men face. Um, I don't think that it would get any less difficult because a woman is coming on board. Right. For example, in politics, every every man that is not and the, uh, okay, I will not mention any part. I don't think I'm allowed mm. to do that. Mm. But any man or, or most men that are not under a particular party mm. or the ruling party, let me put it that way, we all know how difficult it is. Mm. Now, imagine a lady that wants to come and break from another party. We do not expect this thing to be a lot lesser or a lot more easier because she's a lady. Mm. You would still face the same stress or the same struggle mm. that a man faces. Yes, mm. we know that, okay, there are places where um, women are not given the same opportunity. But then again, one thing is sure, even if women are given the same opportunity, mm. you should always bear in mind that it is the same struggle that the man would go through in vying for that post, in some of these posts, put it that way, that the woman would go through. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Annie. Hmm. Valid, valid points there. Thank you. Valid points. And you know, it, it, he has said it all because this, if any woman wants to contest for any political, you know, um, a, a appointment or position, you have to go under a party. And if your party mm-hmm. is not popular, if your party is not, you know, doesn't have the people, doesn't have the quote and unquote structure, which is now ha- which now has to be redefined because I mean we can see that happen in this year's yes. election. Structure, you know, the, the definition of structure, <laughs> structure has, has been changed. redefined, honestly. Mm-hmm. So you see, if if they do not have that, you know, popularity, quote and unquote, it might be difficult, which mm-hmm. is so true. We can see a lot of women who are under a certain party that has, you know, the popularity of uh, people and the awareness of so many people. Mm-hmm. The women they push sometimes, you know, they get to the top. They get to the position because of the party they belong to. Yeah. So I think that also has to be, you know, a deciding factor. Yes, definitely. I agree with that one. Of course, if you want to contest for any any seat, any position, there are rules and regulation um, to do that. You're not just going to stand up and say, "Oh, I'm a woman," so th- so therefore you have to vote for me. You have to go through the process. You know, join a party. You know, whatever you need to do to get it, to to get the the, the yeah. ticket or yeah. to get your support, you yeah. have to do that. Yeah. It's not just you know, all be- it's, not, it's not bed of roses. It's not bed of roses. It's not bed of have to do the work. That's putting the work. Do work yeah. So now the yeah. question is, do we even create a safe space for these women to do the work? Because sometimes someone might want to contest for certain positions. They will say, "Oh, you know, you're a woman. It's not yet your time." Or we, uh, we have so many men. You just yeah. came in, Kenny. Don't worry. Just wait. You maybe you deputize. You don't have. Why do you have to be the yeah. governor? Why do you have to be this? Why mm-hmm. do you have to be that? The world. Mm-hmm. That? We don't. We don't think this is the, the time for women <laughs> to do all of that. So in as much as we're asking them to participate, we need to also ask ourselves important and honest questions like, "Is do we make the safe the, the, the space safe enough?" For these women to even have this ambition. Very okay. True. Let us know on WhatsApp 0909-916-4403. Or you can call us up like Annie 7 Do you think yeah. that Nigeria is ready for a female president or a female governor? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you gonna say something? <laughs> yes, I wanted to say something because you know, most times, yeah, the even with the with the whole uh the political parties and all of that, it has been it it's a it's a bureaucracy, if mm-hmm. you ask me, because it is those who are not even elected that make the decision. Mm-hmm. You know, we have so many. Godfatherism is a thing in Nigeria. Yep. And if you do not, you know, succumb to that. If you do not lay low and pipe uh. down, and you know, subject yourself to that godfatherism, which is like a tunnel system, mm-hmm. you might not. Mm-hmm. You might not. There is a very, very slim chance of you even being recognized, mm-hmm. or even your name being, you know, pushed forward. And mm-hmm. you're wondering if I have the ability to serve. Why do I have to wait in line? Mm-hmm. So it's like, oh. It is your turn now. Mm-hmm. So it's like a lot of people have to, you know, wait in line. It's, it's like maybe it's, it's, it's a civil system um, 
pr procedure mm -hmm. or um how do they put it now you mm -hmm. know when you're working for the federal government or a state government yeah you know the system of okay it is now your turn yes this it is, is, is now your turn, turn, by turn, turn by turn this thing it, it, yes, it should it never turn by turn as quota. long as you have the qualifications you are ready you have what it takes i do not think that should be you know the subject of conversation but it is what it is hmm. political parties are it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a bureaucracy if hmm. you ask me Okay, let us know on WhatsApp 909 916 What do you think? Do you think Nigeria is ready for you know a female governor or a female president? Um, WhatsApp again is 909 916 Um, in the past, actually, we've had uh, someone, um, a, a woman, mm. a female governor in the past. I think that was a couple of years ago. Mm. I think that was in Anambra state, and I think that happened after you know, um, the person she was deputizing for got impeached, yeah, yeah. But that was that, that was, was just, yeah, <laughs> 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 that was up to 20. Four hours. Like <laughs> it was, it was more than <laughs> but, oh, really. But like, like Bibi said, you know, it's corner, 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 corner. You yeah. know, but because she's supposed to run the full term. A full term. So we're saying, woman on the ballot. You go in there. You know, this is a woman on the ballot. This is a, she. She wins the primary. She's the candidate, and you go to the, you go there and vote for her and say, okay, I'm going to vote for this person as my president or as my governor. So, so you see, so I, I was reading that as of, you know, as of September 2022, last mm -hmm. year, last quarter of last year, there are 28 countries where 30 women serve as heads of states or uh, government. Mm -hmm. And at the current rate, gender equality in the highest positions of power will not be reached for another 130 years. Mm -hmm. And you're here wondering when exactly are we going to have, you know, um, gender parity in political life yep it is so far off like the conversation is like okay maybe my great great grandchildren yep will probably witness this but as of right this now era right yeah. now it's the 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 it is not looking hopeful it, 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 at look, all. it looks like a wish you know it looks like a situation of if wishes were horses mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. all right um what's up again is 909 join the conversation in nigeria do you think we're ready for a female president my name is Melody. Uh, we've got a call before we go. Hello. Hi. Hi, Melody. Ah, good. Uh, why am I always saying good morning? morning. <laughs> good evening. Like What's your yo. name? <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, I'm calling back. I'm calling oh, hi, Annie. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah, so, so, like I was saying, yeah, um, um, so, I was, I was going to point out something. Hmm. So, first, yeah, I think as we stand, we we really need to push for a total change in government first before we can actually push for uh, more involvement for women. And I'll tell you why. Ah. These days, hmm. due to due to God's reason, the things that I asked no friends to do, truthfully, these men do it without looking back. Mm -hmm. How many of these people can actually actually do it? Hmm. How many of these people can actually do what these men do? I obviously we all know that it's totally wrong. These are part of the reason why yeah. we do not have a lot of women. Mm. Uh oh. I oh, lost that one. Okay, WhatsApp is 909-916-4403-0700-1051. We'll be back. Yeah. Girls are still in the building. It is girlish. Yes. Yeah. Baby Sasa and Melody. Yeah. We're talking about, you know, issues that affect women. And for today, we're talking about politics, women's involvement. Mm -hmm. If they should, um, if we need more, if we need to clamor for more women in politics, uh, how we can make that happen. If this is a good time to have our, you know, female governor, to have our female president. You know, we may mention a woman in the past who have done a couple of different things mm -hmm. served in different positions when it comes to you know politics we've talked about the deputy governor that became the governor later in nigeria and all of that so i would also like to say this because a lot of people use that as an anchor to discourage women from you know getting into politics which is the women that have been there what have they done so they make me reference to people like you know kemi ade Oshun, who was you know once the Ah, what position did she hold again? Oh, uh, Kemi show was it's not finance now. I can't remember. So she was. Eh, why am I so forgetting? Ah, yes, uh, Minister of Finance. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. former Minister of Finance. You yeah. know, budget yeah. and all of that. Yeah. She was. She she couldn't return because she falsified some documents. documents NYC documents. Yeah, yeah. They, we also hear of people, you know, using um, Alison Madrike, former uh, minister Stella. of yeah. 
still out. Uh, um, Alice Madwike, former minister of petroleum, yeah. you know, with all those corruption charges, charges and all yeah. of that, yeah. fraudulent, you know, yeah. uh, behaviors. And uh, she has been arrested, rearrested, mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, you know, buildings confiscated, yeah. you know, forfeited uh, for the government. Mm -hmm. And then still out. So they mentioned these women that have been, but guess so what? The ones, we that have, the ones that have been there, what have they done? What have they done, right? But talk about the men as well. Oh. We have overwhelming numbers of men who have misused their opportunity. And of course, we are not saying women are holier than thou. Women are you know they will not make mistakes obviously there are they are the bad eggs but you cannot use that to judge the majority of the women who are willing to serve and ready to serve I can't, and I, it is I, yeah. quite it is it is it is not a fair comparison when they do that and they always use that as a, as a yardstick yeah, that women are not ready because the ones that have been there they before well. have you know shattered the standards mm -hmm. they hold for women which is really unfair why are you even holding standard for these women that you don't hold for the men? I, I can't remember who I was listening to. No, I think it's Chimamanda Adichie a couple of days ago. She was talking about politics and she said something, I think it was her that said it, mm. that we expect women to be perfect. <laughs> Like, why do we have that expectation? And they don't hold the same they don't standard hold the for the men. So, so that right. is the problem. Mm -hmm. You want women to come to politics. Or you, want, you want women to do more yeah. in a certain area of their life. Yeah. But you expect them to come yeah. hands clean. No, for you to contest, you have to be this, mm -hmm. you have to be that. Mm -hmm. Why do you expect perfection of another human being that is just like you? Do it's you understand? Just like you. So it's like, come, when we have more women, in that in that space then right. we can now start searching for the ones that are not doing we don't yeah. even have enough for us to be having all this perfection conversation right so let, let's let's have them come in the way we have men come in then if you now see the one and that that one is not doing well then you can say okay you know what we don't want you anymore but for you to now say before you come you have to be perfect first yeah that's that's ridiculous it and makes, unrealistic it, make, it makes no sense it makes no sense and you know with this whole uh gender parity when it comes to politics and inclusion of women it is a sustainable Hmm. It is part of the sustainable goals that we ha we have not achieved just before. I mean, earlier in the show, we made mention of this uh, this actually being a reality in 130 years. Yes. And then we heard Annie call in. I think you you had to explain what he was talking about because yeah, yeah, he here. was talking about how he, he he so he was saying that he thinks that we should focus on that it's not the right time for us to talk about women mm. um, coming to politics or more women that we should focus on maybe restructuring the system first. Right. Then we cannot talk about women's involvement being should be more. I'm like why does it have to be why that, why one or the other you know that, do that's, both? That, that that is a conversation because a lot of people have also said you know what let's restructure the whole system but i also believe that it is it can go simultaneously it can go hand in hand can go hand because in hand. we can we can see with this election that is happening yeah things are really you know changing in the eyes of so many nigerians and we're yep. like okay yep okay yep. could this yep. happen this could on this the regular was never, day this Ooh. was not the conversation four years ago four years ago and we are, we're seeing things change and i think with the with the whole energy with the whole you know anticipation building up it should not just be dashed it shouldn't be dashed. It shouldn't be dashed because, you know, a lot of people are disappointed with what is happening right now, the coalition, mm -hmm. you know, disenfranchisement and all of that. So <sighs> hopefully the, 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 the story gets better. I hope so too, and I don't. I don't think we'll ever get a perfect time to do anything, especially when it comes to involvement in politics. Now. Just do it. Just do it already. Mm. Someone sent in a message saying that um, I agree with what I agree with what ladies are saying. Women being a president, I don't see anything wrong with it if they can get the voters. Mm. I agree um, to elect them. That that should be the major focus. If they're ready to do the work, why not? Why tell them to wait for a perfect time? Mm. We'll never get a perfect time mm. to do anything. So mm. yes, I I agree totally with mm. you and. Uh, and the caller mm. or the the listener that sent in that message. Mm. I think we've come to the end of the show for today. Yeah. yeah. Um, shout out to everyone out there. Please keep the hope alive. I know they were waiting for the final results. Just keep calm. Let's just see how this goes. Mm. And shout out to everyone who went out to vote over the weekend. Mm. You are the real MVP. Mm. Regardless of the results, regardless Yay. of who you voted for, you are the real MVP. And especially the first time voters. Mm. Man. Three Proud of you. Bosa. 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 Don't forget <laughs> to stay with your number one lifestyle station, City 1051. My name is Melody. I'm signing out. I am Vibe Sasa signing out.